and if you're new here, hey girlies. So today's video is going to be a try on a wig haul. As many of you know, and you can see, your girl is bald. I shaved my head a couple of days ago, not because I'm sick or anything. A lot of people have been asking like, are you okay? Like what's going on? I'm fine, you guys. I literally only cut my hair because it was super, super damaged. And at the end of the day, it's only hair. I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna throw a fit about it. I have no problem with just shaving my head and starting over. I wish that people did not view hair as such a big deal anymore because I feel like when I was like 15 or 16 years old, to be honest, I thought my hair was my entire world. Like if I couldn't comb my hair, I felt so ugly. I felt insecure if my hair didn't look a certain way. I felt like everybody was looking at me. But now as I got older, I kind of like let that stigma go. And as a lot of you guys get older and mature, you'll also let that go. Cause I'm sure a lot of you are like, I could never do that to my hair. I would be crying. I would be in tears. Like I would have been too. Now that I'm older and now that I realize that appearance and looks and everything don't matter that much anymore, it's more about personality and being a good human, um, now I don't really care. I just went to the mall for the first time bald and I will admit I noticed a lot of people were staring at me more than usual. But at the end of the day, like you can't really let other people judge you. You can't really let other people like give you an opinion on yourself. As long as you love yourself and you're comfortable within yourself, you shouldn't really care what other people are thinking. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that think I'm ugly now, that think I look gross, this is not a look, this is not a mood, Vanessa, this is not a concept. But at the end of the day, I'm happy and I think I look fucking amazing. <laughs> and I'm not conceited either. I just think like, wow, bitch, you're bald and you still did that. So I'm gonna show you guys the wigs that I got. I have three wigs I'm gonna show you today. Two of them are from Trendy Wigs, not sponsored at all, you guys. Like, I know whenever I show like more than one item from like one brand, people are like, oh my gosh, the whole video's sponsored. It's not. I paid my own money. I think I spent a hundred something dollars um, for both of these wigs. Um, they're both synthetic, and then I also made my own wig using hair from Eunice or Eunice hair. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's one of those. But I actually got four bundles of 18 inches, and then I got a closure. Y'all know I've been on my wig making grind. I made a, a short bob wig um, last month. So this month, I went ahead and made a 18 inch human hair wig with bangs, and honestly, I like tried my best with cutting the bangs. I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna show you guys. But I'm going to leave them alone until I could have like my mom cut them straighter for me because no matter what, like I just suck at cutting bangs. We're gonna go ahead and try on the Eunice or Eunice um, hair first. I said I got 18 inches of weave up in here, you guys. This is my first time making a wig with bangs. Um, it was honestly a lot more difficult than the other wig that I made just because it was a lot easier to lay like, like to have like the little middle part. I don't know, it was just a lot easier. So it was a little difficult for me to make this wig. It took me a lot longer than my last one. I feel like I could have made it a lot thicker as well, so I might go in and add some more like bundles to it, but this is, this is what I got. <laughs> I did it myself. So definitely not the thickest wig that I've ever made, but I think I did a pretty good job for somebody that is not a wig maker. Okay, so this is 18 inches long. I did not use all of the bundles. I only used, I think, mm, like three maybe bundles for this wig and then I just placed the closure on top and then I cut some very shitty bangs. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try this wig on you guys. I mean, it's gonna look just like my regular hair, I'm sure. Go ahead and whip her on. <laughs> so as you guys can see, we have some bang action going on. Um, this is definitely, it's a cute girl, it's a cute wig. I think I could have done a better job on the thickness though, to be honest. I think I got like scared because in the past I've made wigs before and I've been so scared to like add too much because then it looks like you have like a giant ass inflamed skull. But I overall, I think I did a pretty decent job. I am gonna go in and add some more um, tracks. I'm gonna like double them. So this is the first wig, you guys. Like I said, the hair is from Eunice or Eunice Hair. I will put all the information below for you guys. Um, I do not promote hair that I don't think is cute or is not nice, and I think this feels pretty good. Um, I definitely need to add some more bundles because I know there's gonna be some people who are like, girl, you could, you make that, you can make that thicker, make that thicker. I will. I still have a good bundle and a half to add to, but I thought I would show you guys kind of what I came up with because I am proud, like I am proud that I managed to put this together myself because I am new to the wig making game. But hey, girl, don't blame me. I'm about to start making wigs and selling them too. So this is the first wig. <laughs> so now onto the next wig. This is what she looks like. She is a blush pink, light pink color, 100% synthetic. Um, I wouldn't say it's full lace because you only get to like part it up to like right there. 
but it's pretty thick like she's a thick girl she's definitely a thick girl i love it i wish it was human some of you may be wondering vanessa why didn't you just invest in a like pink colored wig that's like human hair the reason i didn't do that is because i'm already getting a pastel human hair wig made for me and installed on my head in a couple weeks so like i'm not gonna spend the money for that so let me go ahead and talk about that for a second because i know some people are gonna be like bitch then why'd you shave your head in the first place i shaved my head because my hair was damaged that does not mean i'm gonna stop wearing wigs yes i'm gonna rock my baldness once in a while but i still like the way i look with hair and i also like the way i look without hair but i still want to have like the opportunity to throw on a human hair wig and like you know put looks with that so so that is why I have a human hair wig being made for me. It's not because like, oh, I shaved my head and I regret it. I don't regret it. I just want it because, girl, I'm bald. I'm gonna try this wig on. Let's see what she looks like. I cut the lace off of um, both of these wigs already. So I could skip that part when it came to making the video. So I'm not sure which side I'm supposed to part this wig if it's supposed to like lay like this or if it's supposed to be on the other side. So this is what it looks like as you guys can see. Um, if I were to actually like go all the way with this wig I would definitely cut some like little baby hairs from the inside and kind of like blend them in so it could look like I have edges because right now it looks like my hair is just randomly growing from there. I think it's a cute wig like I mean it's definitely cute you guys will most likely see me wearing this in multiple videos, but I will probably be wearing a hat as well. I already know what it is when it comes to the synthetic wigs. We throw a hat on it. I'm sorry, but I do not like like this look. And there's like not much you can do with it either. I have like tried to like really look at it like, am I gonna be able to pluck it a little bit or do this? No, no. When it comes to trendy wigs, you guys, I notice with a lot of their wigs, like the parting is literally only like an inch and a half wide so you don't really have like the chance to pluck farther back or really do too much to it because there's a track that lays like this so like if you were to keep splitting it back you'll see that track just like right there so this is what she looks like though i definitely think it is a very pretty wig and i like this color on myself i would definitely do like a human hair wig in this color but yeah. That's what makes wigs so fun. Like you can literally like experiment with so many colors and just like change yourself up all the time. So that is that wig. And the last wig that I got is actually like a wild color. I wouldn't like honestly when I saw it on the website, I was like, I would never wear that. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should like risk it and try it. So I bought a green wig. <laughs> I've been seeing so many girls on Instagram just really going crazy with their hair colors. And I used to be like that in the past. I would have magenta, purple, blue. My hair was actually green at one point. But I would never think of doing like a full head of green. So I got this wig. This is not how the wig comes, by the way. It comes this short in the back. But then it gets really long like right here. So like the length is like all the way down here. You can actually see, like I forgot to cut one of the hairs. But I didn't want that super long little piece. I wasn't going for that, that look. So let's go ahead and put this on. See what your girl looks like with green hair. People are like, Vanessa, you can wear any color or do anything to your hair. Girl, I don't know about that. Um, what are y'all thinking about this green right now? Is green a look on me or is this giving you bush vibes. <laughs> I am giving you tropical grass. Part of me likes it and part of me like hates it. What do you guys think? Like, I don't know. It's like I like it, but I also hate it. Is green a look for some Vanessa? Where I had to like cut it as it like goes down like that. I didn't do that bad of a job, honestly. And I also used kitchen shears. <laughs> like I never use actual like scissors from Sally's bitch. I use scissors to cut chicken. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. I just gotta be more bold and really start risking it all with these wigs because honestly, I'm at the point in my life where I could really do anything with my hair, like any wig. That's why I got this one. I definitely want to try like a navy blue hair because I've done electric blue, but I would love to do navy blue, but I haven't been able to find a really nice navy blue wig. This one, the part, as you can see, like stops right there. And then if you go a little farther back, then there's a track right there. Also very annoying, but it is what it is. You cannot be expecting too much when you're not spending that much on your hair. People fail to realize that like, when it comes to wigs, if you are not paying a decent amount of money, then you're not gonna get the best quality hair. That's just how it works with the hair industry. The more you pay, the better the hair. There are definitely some people that overprice their hair and do too much with it, 
But like, when it comes to wigs, and if it's a credible website, like, yeah, you're gonna be paying a good amount for some good hair. Obviously, these wigs were like $100, so they're not gonna give you like amazing thickness, and they're obviously synthetic. But like, if you want a really, 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 really good like human hair wig, you're gonna spend almost $1,000 or more than $1,000. Which is why I like to make them myself. Um, the bundles that I got from you nice, you guys, I believe you can definitely make a wig for under like, like if you go on a typical wig website, you're probably gonna spend like five or six hundred dollars for like a really nice thick wig. But if you were to make it yourself, you could be spending like two to three hundred maybe. So that's why I definitely recommend you guys try making wigs on your own. It's not that hard. Go on YouTube. If I could do it, you could do it because I'm not the smartest. I know there's a coupon on the new Nice website. It is UNICE004 and I believe you get like eight dollars off. I know that's not like a huge discount, but like eight dollars off could mean something to some people. But yeah, today was just like a cute little video. I wanted to show you guys the wigs that I got. Um, stay tuned, I have some exciting stuff coming out really soon. I know how much you guys absolutely loved that sweatshirt um, that I came out with in the beginning of December. I'm going to be releasing two different t-shirts very, very soon. I'm super excited, you guys. They are just so cute to me. I'm so obsessed with line work, as you guys can see, like by my tattoos and stuff. Like I like simple, little, like liney stuff. So I went ahead and came up with two little designs to put on a t-shirt. So I'm super excited to release those to you guys. And to everybody that bought one of those sweatshirts, thank you so much because I did not expect that much support at all. If you didn't know, the sweatshirts were actually being sold for charity. So stay tuned. I will let you guys know when those shirts are out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys these three little uh, wigs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe for more. Um, thank you guys so much for the endless support because shaving my head, yes, to me, it's not a big deal and it's kind of like whatever, I'm bald now, I'm happy, I'm living my life the same I did before. But to some people, it's a big deal, so like, thank you so much for all the support because I could have been one of those people that, like, I got to cut my hair because I wanted to. Some people don't have that opportunity and some people don't get the chance to like have that choice. Some people lose their hair from sickness, some people have to cut their hair for whatever reason being, accidents, medical problems. And just seeing how many people supported me and I did it for fun, like I did it for myself, like that's incredible to me. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting some bundles, go to you nice hair, I'll put all the information below. And if you're interested in some quibble synthetic wigs just to, you know, like have fun with and play with your looks and stuff, then check out Trendy Wigs, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Say I grow some more. I like exploring I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm